What is up, YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. Uh, today I am working in San Francisco. It's a foggy day. It's It, uh, it almost looks like it's going to rain. I actually love these days, but um, some people just absolutely dread them. So I, I, I didn't really have a topic, but then something did pop in my mind. I'm like, oh, I got something to talk about. You know, I keep getting messages, and if you guys read the comments, you'll see the uh, the pattern. People always say, well, you know, how much do you make, or how much should I make, or, you know, I live in Timbuktu, United States, what do you think I should get paid, or, you know, it always comes down to money. But the reality is, if you haven't followed my mantra yet, it is value your time, know your worth, and know your value, right? So if you know your value, then you should dictate your pay. And if you feel like you're not making enough money, then uh, go out there and, and make that money. But, you know, like I said, there's been points in my life where I've made a ton of money. There's been points in my life where I've made you know, a mediocre amount. And when I say a ton of money, I, I, I personally feel at some points in my life, I actually was rich. And when you mean, well, what do you mean rich? I, uh, a few thousand bucks a day, believe it or not, um, consistently for a while. And, uh, and that was when I taught emergency response. And then, uh, I just got burned out doing that. I actually gave up that good pay, that job, because I was so sick of teaching that class. It was my company. Uh, ultimately, uh, my best friend came along and he helped me out and then it just grew from there. Because, uh, And then, you know, whenever you have friends in business, it just, uh, it, 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 it just unravels. I can say that most of it was my fault, but certainly it's difficult to run a business when you, uh, when you, when you, try to do it as friends unless you have some definite boundaries etc but like I said guys it doesn't always come down to the money remember I told you psychologists have done studies and it shows that after a person makes more than like 80,000 a year uh, money stops making them happy so it brought me to a scenario and I was thinking huh good scenario all right so Let's say there's a contest out there, right? And you have the option of winning a lunch with Bill Gates at any restaurant you want, right? It's all paid for. Um, you can talk to Bill Gates for three hours. Or you can win a lunch with some hobo that has been riding on trains for his whole life. So this homeless guy jumps on train, goes from, <clears throat> excuse me, one city to another city to another city all across America. So you get to have lunch with one of these guys. Now the caveat is with Bill Gates, when you talk to him, you can't make any business deals. But otherwise, everything is um, is is free range. So I know a lot of you will say, well, I'd love to talk to Bill Gates because, you know, I could probably pitch my business idea to him and become a millionaire. All right. So I can imagine talking to Bill Gates. Yes, he is one of the richest men that have ever walked this world. Um, but I couldn't imagine what his life would be like. You know, he's got a huge piece of property. He does get to travel a lot. But do you think he's a, a tourist? When he travels, he most likely travels for the sake of business meetings. Or he'll go from one place to another to another and he's always in the same type of environment, which is a, um, a conference room. His life must be pretty bland. You know, he has his own personal chefs. They keep, keep cooking him the same meals over and over and over. He uh, always stays at hotels when he travels or I'm sure he has homes overseas, but generally hotels. Um, there's no variety to it. At some point, it becomes the same routine. So could you imagine what a lunch with him would be like? 
Sure, it would start off with, hey, how you doing? My name is Bill Gates, and God knows he's not going to give a crap about your life because you're a nobody. He just wants to get this uh, business meeting over with, or the lunch that you guys are having with, over with quick because you have nothing to offer him. So he sits there and he listens to your story and you ask him the basic question. So, I mean, how did you get into computers or, um, you know, you're one of the richest men in the world. That's awesome. You're basically telling him nothing he has never heard. This is, you know, it's just a common every day when people talk to him, they ask him the same questions. They compliment him. They you know, they bring up his wealth and, oh, yeah, I love computers. I, uh, I've, I've been using Windows forever, right? So you can imagine how that lunch would be. Once you get past the, the basic, hello, how are you? It's going to get really bland. But the guy's a millionaire, right? Then you've got some guy that's just a hobo. Uh, he's known for traveling with a backpack. Uh, he eats out in, in, in the environment stars overhead he carries a sleeping bag and cooking utensils and uh assuming he's not like some crack addict druggie that's you know hitching rides on trains and uh you know that would be different but let's just this is for the sake of it say he's just some free spirit imagine what a lunch with him would be like this guy would definitely have some stories to tell you he has seen all of america he has seen the beautiful, he has seen the sad, he's um, seen God's land, beautiful, green, luscious forest, you name it, right? Imagine a lunch with him. Now, this is a guy that has almost no money to his name. So when you guys have to choose between Bill Gates and the hobo, I think you would get more out of talking to this hobo than you would Bill Gates. I certainly do. Granted, Bill Gates is a celebrity and it would be pretty cool to say, hey, I got to talk to that guy. But the reality is the money didn't really uh, didn't really do much for him other than make him more rich. He didn't get to experience life like this hobo who jumps on a train and saw all of America from a different set of eyes and was able to appreciate life and be humbled quite often and there's days where he didn't get to eat, but then other days he did get to eat and he appreciated the fact that he was able to eat because he didn't have food the day before. Whereas Bill Gates, he always has this chef cooking for him. He never misses a meal. He never has burnt toast, uh, never has cold coffee, right? So you get it. Having said that, for you guys out there that are just shooting to make all this money, while sacrificing your 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 life, your livelihood, your happiness, I, I can certainly say it's not worth it. And that's coming from experience. You do not want to sell out your soul to buy your future. Know your value. Know your worth. Above all, be safe.